In the highly competitive world of b-boys, Ken Swift has earned the respect of generations of street dancers. From his early beginnings as a 17-year-old New York street dancer, he quickly rose through the ranks of the groundbreaking Rocksteady crew by raising the bar on innovation. The foundations of street dance can be traced to his signature moves and pioneering ideas. You may not know his name, but you won't have to look far to see his influence. He brought street dance to television, movies, and the New York stage for the first time. He is the only b-boy to be hailed by CNN as one of the most influential dancers in the world. With the soul of a performer and the heart of a teacher, he passes the foundations of hip-hop dance on to generation after generation of b-boys and b-girls. Ken Swift is basically the, the blueprint for b-boys. I mean, the whole look, the style, the speed, the finesse, the, sh the quickness, the sharpness, just everything. It's like when you look at Ken Swift, there's no explanation. Ooh. Ken Swift one of, is one of those b-boys that made me fall in love with footwork. There's a foundation to breaking. And anything you do, there's always a foundation, and he mastered it. He was part of the first wave of b-boying that brought hip-hop dance to the forefront that helped catapult the entire hip-hop culture in the multimedia, mass media, to make b-boying or the dance styles of hip-hop become a fad or popular in the media. In the new motion picture, Flash Dance. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is not to be believed. Please welcome Ken Swift. He was also uh, one of the first images that you've seen on the silver screen from Style Wars, Beat Street, Flash Dance, and as well, Freshest Kids. Getting cardboard boxes, your big radios, and putting them on your shoulder, and how to rock beats, how to understand each other, how to know how to attack on the floor up top, whether you're rocking, you know, whether you're grooving to the music, but also still being able to hit a quick movement on the floor. He's just got so much knowledge. He, he is not just like a talented individual, he's also got the, you know, the faculties to break it down. Well, Ken Swift, congratulations on this Living Legends of Hip Hop Award. You most definitely deserve it. Uh, there's no one more deserving than you to get this. Um, you've been just doing your thing since day one, and you continue to inspire me, and I'm sure many, thousands if not millions of other b-boys and just people in general and i'm so happy for you congratulations buddy ken swift this is your time baby hey i knew it was coming you knew it was coming it's time now it's time to take your bow and sit back in the rocking chair love you man Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, just acknowledge. First of all, thank you, HHI, everybody, the staff, everybody that considered me to be to get this award. Zulu Grammy, my brother right there. Um, you know, it's, this is a this is a great honor. I'm humbled. You know, for, for to see Don get up there. I mean, I can't even put myself on. I, I don't see myself as a legend really, but I will tell you that my life has been legendary. And I said that in class just now. Thank you. So really quickly, I was asked to say a few things. I hope I'm not selfish or not. But uh, 37 years ago when I found the nerve to jump in a circle in a dark park in my neighborhood uptown, it changed my life. You know, it was very scary. It, it wasn't like that. You know, this is beautiful. The energy is so amazing. Um, but, but it changed my life. And it, and, it, and it was, you know, I could describe to you what it was like. It was dark. You know, there was no security, it was a park where music was being played from a, uh, from a lamp post. You know, people just saw, heard the music and came and hung out. And I saw someone jump to the floor and do something, and I went and looked, and I was just going away from that point. I was 12 years old, and I wanted to try to do what I saw this person do with their body. I didn't really see it as a dance at first, because I was just saying, I could do that. And, uh, but, I, but I was very scared and I was nervous. Um, but that one point that I jumped in, you know, it released something from me and it, it, it gave me something that I, would, I wouldn't be able to tell you 
I can't even imagine that I'm standing on the stage right now 37 years later. You know, um, but I love breaking. It's an incredible dance. It's not an easy dance. It's a misunderstood dance. I wish we were the group called the Rocksteady Crew that were the first few boys to become professionals. Yeah. So, we did all those great things in the 80s, but at the same time, the streets are hard, and everybody knows that around the world. It can get tough out there. And it would have been one way or the other way for me. Breaking occupied my time. It made me train more. It made me hang out and go to clubs and stuff and, and do positive things. And once again, it, sound, it can sound cliche, but breaking did definitely save my life because I was in trouble in New York back in the 80s. All right? But on that note, uh, I just want to say thank you once again. Um, uh, also in the 80s, you know, breaking was by the media and also by uh, uh, critics. It, it was, they were ridiculing it in the 80s, saying it would never last and that it was a fad. Black and Puerto Ricans just bouncing around on the floor and this and that. And uh, I think we proved the critics wrong. Hip hop culture is writing, DJing, MCing, and dancing, which is the original dance of hip hop culture is breaking. That's the first dance of hip hop culture, breaking. Breaking is over 40 years old now, so. I'm honored to be standing here, and I, I dedicate this to all the brothers and sisters that I saw before me that gave me that spark and inspired me to jump in there and find something that I love. Uh, so thank you once again, Hip Hop International. I'm so happy about this. This is a beautiful thing. You know, I'm, I'm gonna cherish this. And uh, before I leave, I wanna just say, uh, rest in peace to take one. One of the original members of Rock City who passed away last week. Please take, thank you very much. Joseph Love for a living legend of hip hop in the world of Ken Swift.